Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Holidays. Uh, for today's video, we're going to be installing a couple pairs of lights on the taco. Um, for the taco, we have the Little Bees Fab bumper to install. So we're going to be installing the Squadron SAE paired up with the S2 lights on the bumper. So we're going to walk you through that. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so in the box you're going to find a, a pair of lights, a couple uh, wire harness, and some hardwares. So, first of all, let's talk about the lights. The lights, when it comes factory, it's going to be positioned this way. This is the bottom. But since we have the little B bumper, we're going to have to uh, flip it upside down. And as you can see, there's this logo that's going to be upside down. So the good thing with the Baja designs is that you can go ahead and unscrew these four screws and flip that cover upside down. So that's what we did on this one. As you can see, this is going to be the position that we're going to need it to be because we're going to be mounting it from the bottom upwards to the bumper. So that's what we're going to do. Um, pretty simple, but just make sure that you don't over tighten the screws because you'll probably crack the plastic underneath it. So don't do that. Uh, the second thing is the two harness that you're going to have. This first harness is going to be plugged into the lights and then there's, there's going to be an end harness that's going to be attached to the second harness which is going to be the switch. But we're going to bypass the second harness. We don't need the switch because we're going to hook this directly to the switch pro. So we're going to cut off half of this harness just to use the wiring to reach the switch pro. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so. Just to kind of give you a little bit of example of how this is going to work. This is going to be the bracket, the upper bracket that's going to sit on top of this light. So once we have that mounted, it's going to be positioned right here underneath this bumper right there. So that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, take a look and we'll, we'll walk you through how to do this install. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Alright guys, so let's go over the hardware for this install. Um, this is going to be the hardware assembly that you're going to get in the bag. So pay attention to the orientation of how this bracket looks on the side right here. That's how you're going to attach it. You're going to have two nuts and uh, a washer inside. And then you're going to have a nut that's going to come up this way. A screw, I'm sorry. Uh, with the washer and another washer on top. And this is what's going to attach to the bumper. This washer is a little bit smaller. So you may want to find a little bigger washer if your bumper needs something more secure to hold on to, right? So that's what we're going to go ahead and use, but just pay attention to that orientation of that setup. And really this is going to be the point where it's going to be uh, holds up against the bumper. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and push this up, this whole assembly, into this little groove. Put the washer on top. And then we're going to put this nut on top right here. 
Try to hand tighten it as much as possible for now. All right, so that's how it's going to be hanging. And then you can kind of move it around in any position that you want to do that. So we're going to do that later. But what we're going to use is going to be a 916 socket for this top. And this 15 is going to be on the back side to hold the screw from running. So let's see if I can try to get my hands up in here. guys since we got the SAE mounted uh, we're just gonna leave it for now but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the S2 lights again you're gonna find a pair of lights two wiring harness and then of course uh, the hardware so we're gonna do the same thing for that set all that up and then we're gonna get that mounted and then um, once we get that mounted then we're gonna go ahead and move things around until it fits to our liking and then we'll tighten everything down and then we'll move on to the next step of wiring Thank you. 
guys so we pretty much wrapped everything up um like we showed you earlier mounting that light was probably the hardest part of it you're just gonna have to position it the way that you like it to face but once you get that mounted down you just need to run the wires from both lights all the way over to this side and then you're gonna attach it to that big harness again what we did was we kind of chopped up that big harness because all we needed was the positive and the negative wire to terminate into the switch probes so we did that and we just closed everything up so that's all there is to it um follow us on ig i'll put the link below for this taco and um yeah let us know if you have any questions thank you